guys welcome back to our youtube channel my name is Ulelwa and in this video we will be talking about how we plan on having baby nuggets on a budget and a few tips and pointers that we like to share that, um, that could help anyone else who's going to be raising a baby on quite a limited budget like us so without any further ado let's get to it is to know and understand your own circumstances so what I mean is I'm gonna be at home um, at my grandmother's home for the year or the year and a half we're still not too sure on it and with that the costs that come with that are close to nothing it's just things that um, I need personally baby needs and a few contributions here and there you know and at my grandmother's home it is a three-bedroom um, home I could choose to have nuggets in their own room, myself in a room, my grandmother in a room, but I, I feel more comfortable with being in the same room as Nugget. But my one thing is I don't want to sleep with the baby in the same bed because I know myself. <laughs> I know myself. I move around a lot. Um, what if, like I'm scared. I have high anxiety and I actually thought that this pregnancy was going to spike my anxiety, but it hasn't. But that's not the point. The point is, I have my anxiety and I fear sleeping with the child. So what we're going to get is a co-sleeper and then when Nuggets is a bit too big for that, we're going to move Nuggets into a cot. But it's still going to be in the same room, so we're going to be sharing a room with Nugget because I feel right now it's not really necessary to have Nugget in their own room. Um, some of the things that come with a nursery, like a nursery nursery for a child I feel that it's a bit too much it costs a lot and it's unnecessary to a certain degree obviously it's nice to have but for now while nuggets are still tiny I think sharing a room might work and then when we move back to our own place then have nugget move into their own room also with understanding your own circumstances Gwen's and I don't have a car right so it wouldn't make sense for me to get um, a stroller that has you know these nice strollers that cost a lot and they have so many attachments to me personally it wouldn't make sense to get a stroller that has a car seat what am I gonna do to it I'm not gonna put nuggets in a car seat and then put them on the sofa it doesn't make sense to me to me at least maybe if you have a car you have access to a car maybe with your parents your parents have a car or um, baby daddy has a car hubby has a car then the circumstances might be different with us we seriously don't need a stroller with a car seat so that then makes us more flexible in terms of which stroller to get for nuggets and something that's going to be more adjustable and adaptable to us because since we're going to be using uber most of the time um, we need to get a stroller that's going to be more compact that isn't chunky and too too heavy for us you know especially me i'm a weakling so <laughs> at least it provides a bit of flexibility in that regard the second pointer is to do your research on products before you go and you buy those products if you know me you know i do my research on literally anything under the sun so the first thing we did we went to babies r us i think this was the following day after finding out about nuggets we went to Babies R Us and when we got there, we started looking around, comparing things. And obviously at that time, I didn't know exactly what I might need. With the Windsor, Windsor doesn't, I can't say he doesn't care, but it doesn't really concern him that much in terms of which, um, which cart is better than the other. With him, a cart is just a cart, really and he just wants to know the price tag at the end of the day with me i look into every single thing about that cot so i do I, I saw a few cots that i liked i did my research on all of them i checked the reviews that were available and that's how i decided on which cot would i want us to get um which stroller would i want us to get literally everything right obviously babies are not the same and maybe it might not work for you but if 9 out of 10 people say it works most likely it's also going to work for you as well and your baby for people who don't believe in buying early what you can do is you can go lay buy your clothes instead of buying clothes on credit 
like if maybe you have let's just say the Woolies um, store card I'm sorry Woolies is the only thing that comes to mind right now so unless if you do have like a store card what you can do is rather go buy go lay by your clothes for your baby instead of buying them on credit because with the lay by it's exactly the amount of the clothes and there's no added interest or anything of the sort and the liabilities to it are close to nothing because I think with some places you can cancel off your lay by if you decide that you don't want those clothes anymore or if maybe baby's gender changes up on you you can cancel up your um, lay by with some places I do know that they do withhold like 10-15% I'm not too sure but lay buying still makes greater sense than going over and buying them on credit. Also be on the lookout for in-store benefits. In my previous video, I did mention the discount, yes, the discount benefits. So be on the lookout for benefits because with discount, you get a baby bag that has a few goodies in there for you and baby. Um, with clicks, I do know that you get double points, but I'm not sure if you get like any things such as a baby bag of a sort. With items such as cosmetics, we are going to be trying to get travel sized items so that we can first try them on baby and then if baby, baby skin and if baby skin um, adapts to it and likes it, then we can get those items in bulk from your store such as Macro, Take A Lot, um, which other place has it in bulk, I'm not sure, but <laughs> wherever we can get it in bulk or even Clicks because Clicks sometimes has a 3 for 2. So we will be looking into that, but first we are going to try get travel sizes and test and see which one works best for our little one. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please, if you have any other tips and tricks that we didn't think of, please do plug us in. Next week I will be answering some questions that I did receive on Instagram in terms of baby nuggets and us. If you have any more questions, do pop them in the comment section down below. But until next week, it's love and light to you all.